Okay, hello everybody on YouTube. This here is Mike. And I got a request to make a video on how you program in a uh, Project 25 trunking system into the Radio Shack Pro 106. Not too difficult. Um, what I do, I do it the easy way, and my county is pretty small. Let me pull up my county real quick here to show you what everything is. Um, all I have to do here is go to radioreference.com and I click on my state there, you know, and uh, then I live in Dauphin County. So I press Dauphin County and down here I just select my, uh, my system I'm going to program in and here is my page. And my, yeah, remember my page is still my system. They're still working on it. It's only about halfway done, so I don't really listen to it though. But here's my my page for it, and uh, there's the frequencies and the towers. Uh, I guess they're right right there. And then down a little bit, I'll find the talk groups, like uh, eleven double oh one takes me to uh, the conventional channel one. That's what I mainly listen to. And then I have fire programmed in. Conventional one, conventional three, four, and five, and all those, um, right around here. So I'll get to that in a little bit here. Why it comes up, uh, why that's important. So uh, I got a request here from uh, Unspoken Tragedy Five Twelve here on YouTube, right here, and uh, he just wants me to program in uh, how to show you how to do Austin, Texas. Now the first thing I saw when I saw Austin, Texas was, man this is big. It's right here under radio reference, here I am. It is huge. So what I was thinking about doing was uh, telling him, right, I, I programmed in York County which is just south of me. Their, their system is fully finished. And look at all these talk groups. Their, fin their, their system is fully finished so I I program them in and this the scanner only allows you to program in uh, 33 channels I think 30 some channels um, or yeah 30 some channels for a single P25 system so what I had to do was program in northern York County and that took about half of it so what I suggest for you would be to program in whatever you want to listen to differently, um, like group it by uh, the geographics of it, uh, like say central, I don't know where you live or what it's going to be, but just figure out a reasonable way to program it in separate separate systems. Now there might be a way to override this, but I'm pretty sure you can only do 30 frequencies, and this is way more than 30, I'd say there's like 60 some, even more than that. So you'd have to do at least three, but uh, that all depends what you want to listen to. So I hope this will help. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna program in York County, Pennsylvania. I'll show you how to. And uh, that is right in here. Okay, and with York County, they have more than 30, so I have to do it differently, and I have it programmed in, I only have it programmed in northern York County, so that's closest to me, and uh, I'm probably too far away from the other place. York County's a huge county, so uh, I only have one part programmed in, that would be northern York. Um, basically, all this system is, uh, it's a it utilizes four simulcast systems and one single site system and here it tells me where all the towers are and all that good stuff there's four sites that I'm listening to for Northern New York those are in Dillsburg, Ramsey Hill, Research Summit, and Yoakum Town I guess you guys won't know what that is but I would and uh... what I'll have to do 
um, this program in northern New York, which down here with all the frequencies where they all are. Um, northern, I hope you guys can see this, but northern system right here um, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it has ten frequencies in it. So I'll, have to, I'll program in ten frequencies at a time, basically. But you can do more than that, you can do thirty. But don't don't go don't max out the system and have to make a new a new group, you know, to continue because then you only be hearing half the traffic because half the system would be on one group and half the system would be on another group, so I uh you have to make sure you do it in the same group. Uh so if that means you only do one system in one group, fine. You wanna listen to it, so uh, I have to cut this video short. I have to make two videos here because it only allows one gig. And this is a high definition camera, so it uses a lot of memory. So here I'll reply on a video down at the bottom here saying uh, I'll actually do the keystrokes into the radio. So this is a little bit of background. Now I don't know too much about this, but I know enough, I think, to program it to make me listen to it. So uh, look down for the next video, and you will see the video to program the radio.